Hey everyone, Georgianne here from the Monday Morning Flower and Balloon Company Bridal Consultation Room. And oh my goodness, I have not done a video in forever. And I could probably give you a couple of good excuses. A few times I couldn't get the sound to record and a few times the hair was not looking as I would have liked. But the hair is still not looking great. But I have the webcam video recording sound. So I wanted to do a quickie video today about roses. And anyone that knows me may know that roses are my favorite flower. And I love using them in event work and weddings because they're so versatile. They're so affordable. And they come in so many different shades. So I wanted to share with you a few of my favorites. So right now, um, orange is very, very uh, in color not only for holidays like Valentine's Day, but it's still kind of a popular color for event decor. And let's face it, we're in Princeton, and we're near Princeton University, so it's all about the black and orange with them. So there's lots of different varieties of orange roses, and this one is called Santana, and it's got a deep, almost like burnt orange um, color, and uh, it works really well with other uh, colors, and if you wanted to add another rose with it, a light peach looks gorgeous with this one. This one just came in and so it hasn't opened fully but it has a really high petal count and it lasts a long time. We sold a lot of these for Valentine's Day. So here's another one and I might mispronounce it and you might not be able to tell. I'm going to put it really close. It is a light blushy pink and it's called Mundial or Mundial. Um, there is one that's also a white, but this one is a pink one, and it has a very high petal count. It's a really beautiful rose. Um, I haven't pulled off any of the outer petals, but I love that little ruffled edge, as well as the, um, the fact that it uh, uh, opens really nicely. It has a really thick stem and beautiful foliage. Look at that. So we use this a lot for weddings because in 2018, as in 2017, the color blush was very popular for weddings. So this one we try to have in every week, although we're not always able to get it. That's another one of our favorites. And by the way, pink's my favorite color. Look at these. Now this is our favorite red here in the store. Um, I'm going to go closer. Look at that. See how there's like a little heart in the center? Can you see it? This one uh, goes by two, two names. One is heat and one is heart. Um, it's not a rose for everybody because if you're looking for a rose that's not really open and not ruffly and looks more like a bud, this is not the rose for you. But seriously, look at that stem and look at that amazing foliage. It does have some thorns which we would take off when we're designing. But isn't that an amazing red rose? Doesn't that sort of remind you of Beauty and the Beast? Um, so anyway. This was another popular rose that we used for Valentine's Day. We've been moving away from the standard freedom, which are available everywhere. We like to give our customers something a little bit different. And this is my favorite white rose right now. It's not big. I'm going to put it closer. It's not big, but it's perfection. Uh, this rose is called Eskimo, and it also comes in a sweet Eskimo is a light pink. And then there's one called Hot Eskimo, which is like a medium pink. So when you mix the straight white Eskimo with those two shades of pink, oh my gosh, we did a wedding, I think last year, um, with all three, the variety, the three colors together. But this rose is definitely a smaller head. So when you're designing with it, you have to keep that in mind. Look at the difference in the size. I'm not doing the right angle. Hold on. Let me get this better. Woo! That's much better. And you can see compared to that heat heart rose that I was mentioning. Look at that. Everything on the camera is backwards. So you can see the difference not only in the colors but also in the size. So see how little the Eskimo is? But what I love about it is that it is a perfect rose. This one is uh, just came in today so it hasn't really opened. But it's so delicate. It's almost like a tea rose. I mean, it is a tea rose, but it's almost like a sweetheart. Forgive me. It's almost like a sweetheart rose. One of those ones that your grandmother probably carried when she was getting married. 
So anyway, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite roses right now. There's so many colors out there available. And if you're thinking that roses are overused, shame on you. They aren't. You just have to switch it out and do some different varieties and some different colors. There's gorgeous yellow ones and two-tone ones, not to mention there's at least three or four different beautiful lavender to purple ones out there. So there you have it. I finally did a webcam video. I appreciate you watching and I hope you found it informative. Thanks. Have a great day everybody.